This fellow has been whistling away. He's the only one up here for more than an hour and a half now. Just him. Here comes Uncle Alan. We're about 30 k's from the Onsiep Khan's border, and uh, it's only 27 degrees, so it's actually not too bad. It's Friday morning, the 19th of October. This is I Ice. Remarkably quiet from a bird life point of view. I would certainly have expected a lot more around here. Seems there's an abundance of water. We arrived yesterday, 380 k's from Klein Pella. We're staying in that complex there. And my room has no air conditioning. Well, it's got air conditioning, but it's practically useless. government-run facility. It's not part of the private, many private complexes that run the best resorts in this country. I remember stopping here a year or two years ago for lunch and just that experience of yeah, being here for two hours for lunch was enough. But it's certainly worth seeing. I mean, not a, it's not a terrible spot. It's just the potential has not been realized here. The rooms have got walls all over the show where you can't actually see out the windows. You know, you'd, you'd like to think that it's all about the view in this part of the world. That's where all the other lodges have made their name. It's because of the view they, get, they offer. And um, when I opened up the AC, ACs, they were completely covered in dust. The little removable filters, let's see if we can get that mounted. The little removable filters looked like absolute crap. I actually had to clean them and it helped the one in my bed, above my bed. Clan Pella was an absolute revelation on the other hand. It was beautiful, interesting. Pitt Carstens, the guy that owns the place, probably turned it into what it was when the previous owner 40 years ago started his endeavor with dates wanting to import and being refused permission to import Israeli dates. Clearly it's a huge success story and the rest the uh, restaurant come it's not a restaurant it's just the resort six rooms plus a couple of 
and bungalows are outside for long term is, is very much an afterthought. I don't think he needs money at all, Mr. Carson. He's just doing his thing. But from a motorcycle point of view, it was really nice being there. Um, their biggest problem is actually baboons. So all the date plantations are surrounded by electrical fencing because the baboons create so much havoc by pulling the young plantlings up and just chewing the roots. Well, this place is certainly coming alive now. It's nice to see there's a lot of campers. A lot of young folks in cars. And this is the time to do anything in. In this part of the world is at 6 o'clock before it gets unbearably hot. Yesterday was 38 degrees. It's a little bit less than the day before. Nevertheless, the heat. <laughs> I don't really ever get used to the heat. It's cooler out here than in my room. so much noise going up there. So today we do all of 40 kilometers to Canyon Village and um, I'm looking forward to that far more than here because Canyon Village is a nice little spot that I know it and everything works, the rooms are good and um, the food's good. There's also a little bit of internet there. There's no internet here, nothing. No Wi-Fi. You would think that they would just go out of their way to put in at least one particular area with a bit of Wi-Fi coverage where somebody could just you know, do their thing. It's 2020 in five minutes time and there's still areas and fancy holiday resorts where there's no Wi-Fi coverage. That's bizarre. Anyway, Let's stop bitching for today and appreciate what we have. Um, it's already the last night tonight in Namibia for this year before I have to go to Cape Town on Monday. So I'll report from Canyon Village.
this is the orange at the Fiol's Drift side. Nuert Uwe. Slightly different to the one at Falua's Drift that we came through. Still a lot of water. It's just going to waste. literally the border between South Africa and those mountains and Namibia over there yeah that was a good trip it was a bit quick it was only three days but better than nothing so that was it for 2019